Becoming a legal resident is a long and tedious process for immigrants and their families, made even more challenging due to the high cost of both filing the necessary paperwork and hiring an immigration attorney to ensure everything is done correctly, thus avoiding costly mistakes that can backlog the process even further. For young couples like David and Lauren Rodriguez of Buffalo, Texas, the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, or DACA program, provided a reprieve, allowing David to work and drive while they both saved money to cover application fees and lawyer expenses. David has been a legal resident since April 2018 after a lengthy process that took several years. When the Trump administration announced plans to end the DACA program in 2017, his wife, Lauren, posted publicly on Facebook, sharing David's immigration experience and the importance of the DACA program, both for him and their family. The post was shared more than 60 times. Being raised American, it's just really hard to put into perspective, and I feel like it's something we take for granted, just the fact that you're just born American. And that's that. But I feel like comes with that is a lot of like ignorance on some people's part and not really understanding what it looks like and what it takes for someone to become a citizen or to even have empathy or to think about what motivates someone to cross the border legally. Lauren was motivated to share her family's experience in response to negative posts she had seen on her Facebook news feed from others, stating that if immigrants would arrive legally, they wouldn't need to worry about the DACA program ending. I realized like there's so much ignorance when it comes to what people know and what Americans even know what DACA is like you know that that's for that's for kids who came over here as you know as children came over here and had no say so in it and you know like how how can you like justify them not having a fair chance at becoming a citizen or being able to work when it's something that was completely out of their control being born elsewhere and you know being brought over here as a child. Lauren says responses around her Facebook post in support of DACA were mostly positive. Many people were unaware that David had not been born in the United States. Fernando and Brandy Zambrano of Waco, Texas also rely on the DACA program. They have experienced similar surprise when people learn that Fernando is a dreamer. When I tell them, well, you know, that's kind of my case, and tell them my story, and they're like, well, that's, uh, that's pretty different than what I had imagined. You can see the change in somebody's in mind going when, you know, they have is what they thought and then I tell them hey well that's kind of my situation there and then tell them what I've been you know what we've gone through and they're like wow it's you can see them their perception change. The Zambranos are currently saving money for the next steps in the residency application process which will likely include a required trip for Fernando to Mexico a country completely foreign to him. It's unclear how long he will need to stay in Mexico and how long the entire process will take collectively. That makes planning for the future challenging. But the couple, who attends Axe Church in Waco, say their faith keeps them grounded, even amid adversity. I, I have a decent job, thankfully. Uh, you know, the Lord has blessed us, and thankfully from DACA, you know, I have been able to work up and get myself out there, and I work at the Dwyer Group now, which is a pretty successful company. I guess I don't want people feeling sorry for me, because, you know, I mean, it's a bad situation. I didn't choose it, but I mean, there's people that have it worse than I do. I would love to have my situation to, yeah. to begin with, uh, but... Yeah, just, I guess, just to show people that, you know, sometimes it's the little things that we need to be thankful for. Just being able to, to have a car to drive, to be able to have a license to drive, be able to get a job without having to worry about, you know, if I can get a job. But also, you know, it's always there for us, I guess. Mm. Taking care of us, no matter what, what the situation, how dire it may seem, every step of the way, yeah, he's been with us.